Hello again. This is the helper, and as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to convert the files that you ripped onto your hard drive into files that can be read with iTunes and therefore can be put onto your iDevices. There's plenty of videos up on YouTube telling you how to put DVDs into iTunes and onto your iDevices. The reason I'm putting this one up is because it works nicely with the process that I showed you guys before. So if you have a digital library of DVDs on your computer using um, the My Movies collection management, then this is a good way to convert the DVDs that you already have on your hard drive into, into DVDs that can be put on your iPad and iPhones. So we're going to use Handbrake. And if you guys have watched other videos on how to get DVDs onto your iPhones, or iPads, they probably use this program. So we're we're gonna use the same program, but we're gonna do go through a, a few different steps. Because we're not ripping the DVD from the drive, we're actually taking it from files on the hard drive. So up here at source, you're gonna click folder. And then you're gonna go into the DVD folder that I told you guys to make in the last video. So my DVD folder is right here and underneath that should be all the DVDs that you have ripped to your hard drive. So you're going to go ahead and choose whatever DVD you want to put onto your iPad or iPod. Let's see, we'll do Run Fat Boy Run. So you just click the main title, ignore these two subfolders. You just want to click the main title and click OK. It's going to process the title. And it should do it fairly quickly. Once it's done, you'll see it selected the, the longest file. That is the movie. Okay, so over here on the right, you're going to select which, which um, preset you want. I choose iPad because I already have the movies on my hard drive. They're already in nice quality for me to view in Windows Media Center. So I don't need like Apple TV or, or the higher quality presets because this is strictly for my iPad and my iPhone. So you guys can select other ones. I suggest this if you went through the process in my last video because you don't want a whole a whole bunch more space taken up on your desktop than you already took up with the original DVD. So if you select this, it should compress it down to about a gig. That being said, now you have the full movie and you have the compressed movie on your computer. So it's going to take up more space. <laughs> There's not really anything you can do to get around that. If you guys don't really want all the DVDs on your on your computer, then I, I suggest just just doing this process, ripping it straight from the DVD. I'd probably go to a different video and watch that because there's better videos out than this one for that process. But I'm picky. I want all my DVDs and I want my favorite ones compressed so that I can put them on my iPad and iPod. So as soon as you have selected which one you want, again I suggest iPad you're going to tell it where you want it to save to. So I put mine right by in my local hard drive. Right next to DVDs I have iMovies. So go ahead and create a folder. Call it, you can, again you can call it whatever you want. I like, I think this just helps me remember what it's for. So you're going to select that folder and you're going to save it as whatever you want. So run fat boy run it's best to just use the title and hit save. Now I'll show right here the file destination. It's going into your iMovies and that is the title. Alright, so once you select all that, you can ignore all of this stuff because these are presets that determine what all of this what all of these are. As you can see they change around a little bit when you select different ones. So don't worry about this. 
So you're gonna go ahead and click start. Now down here, it'll show you all the uh, information, how much time approximately is remaining. All right, so I'll go ahead and pause the video and come back when this is about done. All right, I'm back. As you can see, this is just about done. All right, so when it's finished, it says encoding finished right, right down here at the bottom. So if you go into where you saved it, you should see that it's right there. Now this will, I believe it goes, yeah, MP4. So it changed the file type so it can be seen in iTunes now. So if you open up your iTunes, go into your movies and drag and drop it just from the file location into the iTunes movie section, it'll show up right there. Right. You can see it plays. Now obviously it's not going to be as good a quality on your computer as it would be if you went into your Windows Media Center and played it from the original file, but it's in a format that'll go into your onto your iPad and um, iPhone. Um, just real quick, as you can see, I have there's two movies in my iMovies right now: Blades of Glory and Run, Fat Boy Run. And you can see this one has the nice the nice cover. And this one's just kind of one of the random frames. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to how to get this DVD folder in a short little video right after this one so if if you don't care about it you don't need to sit through it so let me plug in my iPad and I'll show you guys that it transfers okay so there's my iPad you can see I have some other movies in here from other computers all you're gonna do is drag and drop this into here and it'll show you that it's going on there. All right. I'm not gonna show you guys on my iPad that it works. I don't really want to set up my other camera. Um, I assure you it works. If you have any problems or any issues, just go ahead and message me or put a question in the comments, and I'm more than help, more than happy to answer them for you. And also, I could use suggestions for other videos you guys want to see. Um, I don't really like putting videos up that that are basically copies of other videos. Um, I like to do ones that really relate to my previous videos or or ones that I have a hard time finding on YouTube. So if there's something you guys want to learn how to do, just let me know. Send me a send me a message. Put it in the comments, and I'll try to get to it. Thanks for watching, guys.